Hey guys, Steph, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all good in today's video. I did not expect this, uh, but Seventeen Makeup is back and you guys have been asking me to try it out. As soon as I saw it was back, I I was so ready. I was already on the website. Like, I was trying to buy things before things had even become available and I was wondering why things were out of stock. Uh, but yeah, I've managed to get a full face and we're gonna be putting it on my face today. That's what we usually do. My hair is like, just a frizz mess today. If you're new to this channel, then regular people know what's coming. Uh, we're gonna shake each other's hand, reach out, it's fine. Like, it's not awkward, it's only awkward if you make it awkward. But, um, hello, nice to meet you. If you would like to subscribe, that would mean a lot. If you would like to like this video, comment, all of the above. Helps with the algorithm, helps me in general, and it's just a nice thing to do. So if you'd like to do that, it is free. Thank you so much. Uh, and if you're not he new here, um, <laughs> what? If you're not new here, then, all right? It, the same still applies, but, like, we can shake hands, actually. We can, like, Okay, this is how we're starting a video. But uh, yeah, I have a bunch of Seventeen makeup to try out today. Seventeen makeup was around when I was like a kid and I really liked a lot of their stuff actually. And I remember I once did like a full testing video and then it got discontinued like a month or two later. So yeah, they brought out, I believe it's like a whole new range. I don't recognize any products, which is very, very exciting. Um, and yeah, it's super affordable in boots. This sounds like an ad. It's not, uh, but yeah, it's available in boots. Pretty affordable, like everything's around about, I don't know, like two to six pounds, I kind of want to say. And yeah, they've got a lot of products, so this video might be a bit of a long one, uh, so I better get started and just chuck it all in my face. Let's go. By the way, I've gotten comments on this top before. I don't know if it'll still be available. I got it from H&M and it was really cheap. It was like seven pounds or something, but if I can find it, I will link to it, and if I don't, then shout at me. Sometimes I like link all the products in the video, but then I forget to do like the thing that I say I'm going to do. I'm going out for lunch with my sister in a second. So hopefully this looks nice, because I've got to I've got to actually go out and wear it. So first of all, for primer, I have the Photo Filter Balm Primer, which feels like it's gonna be similar to the e.l.f. primer, which I really, really like, because that's a dupe of the Tatcha primer. Oh, maybe it is different. I was like expecting to be able to almost like pick some of the products up, but it it does actually kind of feel like a lip balm, which I mean, okay, not a lip balm, feels weird on your lips, but yeah, you just sort of slap it all over your face and then I'll just blend it all out. Um, but yeah, it just kind of feels a little bit silicone-y, but also a little bit moisturizer-y. Here comes me with the technical words again, but um, I mean, yeah, it does feel smoother. I feel like it maybe has filled in some of my pores and stuff. So now we're gonna go, maybe not. So now we're gonna go in with the Second Skin Enhancing Foundation. They have CC creams. They might even have like a tinted moisturizer, but I just went for the foundation and I have it in the shades. This always takes me way longer than it should. Do I even know what shade it's in? 003N, maybe, That maybe. It says it's medium coverage uh, and gives you a natural healthy looking base. I need that, that sounds great. So I'm just gonna apply it the same way that I would my usual sort of foundation, which is basically just slathering it all over my face and hoping for the best. Doesn't really seem to have any smell. If it does, it's very, very faint. That's kind of promising. Go see how that looks on my skin there versus how my skin looks on this side. Pretty good color match for me as well. But yeah, I think now all the products are fully available on the website. I had to get them in two separate packages. The only thing that I like, wasn't like fully annoyed at, it's not a big deal, but I wanted to get one of the brighter palettes. But again, like, I don't know if they were like launched in stages or if there were stock issues or whatever. They're available now, like when I last checked, um, but I can only get this neutral one, which is probably a good thing. Like I said, I am just going for like a casual sort of lunch today. And I mean, it is Cornwall. If I walk out with like a blue smoky eye, there's gonna be like old fishermen that look at me like, but yeah, I could only get the golden palette. So we're going neutral today. Don't blame me. I actually kind of wanted to do something a bit more bright. Like they've got like a glittery palette. They've got like a bluey green palette, purpley sort of one, but the makeup gods just wanted me to be just neutral today. Remind me to shave my mustache, please. It's got like a nice sheen to the skin. It does look semi-matte. It doesn't look dry or anything, but it doesn't 
it hasn't like hydrated my skin or anything. It does just have a nice sheen. If that makes if that makes any sense, it's like matte, but it still has like a healthy glow to it. Why why didn't I just say that? Why? I need like a translation for like when I'm like super ADHD. I need a translator. So it's like I might say something that takes me three minutes to say but someone else can just say it in like five words. The packaging, by the way, is actually quite nice. I like the branding that they've done. They've sort of switched up the branding a little bit because I think 17 used to be spelt like the word 17. Um, now it's just a number and yeah, the packaging's simple, but it is quite nice. Like the palettes look good. They've got like a Huda Beauty sort of style vibe to them. So now before I do concealer, I don't know why I'm doing it in this order. I just am, so just like let me live. Uh, I have the Brow and Lash Lamination Clear Mascara. Now, I used to use clear mascara on my brows like way back in the day. Before I even wore makeup, I had to brush my brows through with something because otherwise they would just like... I don't know, I don't really know how I feel about clear mascaras these days. Does anyone actually use them? Like, no issue if you do. I'm just genuinely curious if people actually do use clear mascaras that often. But yeah, it says the word lamination on it. So I'm gonna try and do like a fluffy brow sort of situation. The spoolie's quite nice. You guys can see that there. It's quite a fine little spoolie. There is a lot of product on here. I actually, I'm actually just gonna... Yeah, there's so much product on there. So I'm just gonna spike my brows up a little bit like so. The size of the brush, like, it rattles around a little bit. Like, I bet if I did this, the product would just pour out because like the hole in there is quite big. That's what she said. You guys will yell at me if I don't make the that's what she said jokes, but like sometimes they're just implied. Sometimes I like say it in my head and I know you guys are thinking the same thing. Um, but yeah, the hole is, God, the hole is quite big. So it doesn't squeeze a lot of the product off the brush, if that makes sense. I feel like you kind of need a stopper in there or at least like a, a bigger one, just so it doesn't, you don't have too much product on your brush. Even still, my brows are just, they just feel like they've got hair gel in them, but without any, staying power, they're just, they're just kind of wet to be honest. I've just got wet eyebrows. So now for concealer, I'm using the Second Skin Enhancing Concealer and this one is in the shade 001Y. And I'm gonna pop some of that just here. And if we need more, I will go in with more. I'm not sure with concealer, you guys know this by now. And this concealer is two pounds. Like if this is good, I'm gonna be very happy. I think you can see the side by side there. And I know I've obviously got foundation on this side, but. I feel like that's pretty good so far. I mean, we still need to powder it down. Everything could change, but to be honest, even without powdering it down, it doesn't look too shiny or anything. So you know what? I think it's actually really good for two pounds. I'd say it's a medium coverage. Uh, does it say anything on here? Um, so it gives you a velvety skin finish, masks imperfections, and it's got a mineral mix complex. Oh, I didn't even realize that. I think uh, everything in the range is vegan as well. So that's cool. I feel like there's been so many makeup launches recently, but they've all been like, nothing wrong with this. I'm not one of those people that actually like care, but they've all been like celebrity makeup lines or sister lines or something else. Whereas like, you don't often get just a brand that just comes out and is affordable and is vegan. And yeah, like, and hopefully the products are good. So yeah, I'm actually quite excited about this. The brow gel, I feel like it kind of does just remind me of the brow gels that I used to use way back in the day. Like if I was just like, do this, my brows are moving. So basically, yeah, that's kind of crap. Just cause like I could get the same effect just by brushing my brows through. So like, it doesn't really do much. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Perfecting Finish Translucent Powder. Uh, it says super flattering, silky finishing powder. Uh, da, 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 da. Sweet almond oil makes the skin feel even softer. Ooh. Yeah, you guys can see in the macro how my skin's looking right now with no powder. As time goes on, I find myself wearing less and less powder. I was just checking to see if it smelled like almonds. It doesn't. But yeah, I'm wearing like less and less powder as time goes on now, unless I'm doing like an event or something like that where I need my makeup to stay on regardless. I don't tend to powder down too much and I don't really feel like you would need to with this foundation. Again, if you take away like the bright lights and everything, it does just look pretty, it looks really, really skin-like. I, I like it. So I'm just gonna set my under eyes using a tiny bit of that powder. And I'm using a slightly larger fluffy brush just so it doesn't get too concentrated in one area. Not bad. Genuinely like not bad at all, to be honest. I always get wary when powders are super, 
super fine because sometimes they can just make everything look a bit too matte. But even though the concealer said it was like a velvety finish or something, it does still look like skin. It doesn't just look like, I don't know, like an old piece of tissue paper. So far, I'm quite impressed. I'm like, I'm getting really excited about this because I always like to recommend like super affordable products. You guys know I love cheap stuff. I like the bougie stuff, don't get me wrong. But like, I don't know. I'm like a magpie with shiny things, except I like cheap, good makeup products. So yeah, I always get excited when I come across a cheap brands or cheap products that are actually decent. I mean, it looks a little bit dry around here but I do have a setting spray, so we'll try that in a second. Um, otherwise though, I've still got a shine to my skin, um, but not like an oily shine, it's just like a slightly more healthy shine. So yeah, this is looking pretty good. So now I'm gonna go in with the Light Reflect Liquid Highlighter. I think they had a few shades of this, but I've got the shade Champagne. And like I said, I don't tend to wear too much powder anyway, so I'm just gonna put that on top of, you know, whatever I did powder down. Oh. Oh. Nice to meet you. Uh, it says, lightweight liquid highlighter for luminous skin with just one drop. I put about four drops on there, so yeah, fair enough. And I'm just gonna tap it on with my finger because I tend to find that's the best way to apply highlights for me. Yeah, one drop is right. Um, you don't need a lot of this, I don't think. I don't know, as I blend it out, it does blend out quite nicely, but I mean, I've, I've actually gone a little bit overboard with that there, but. Wait, did I just say that? Did I just say I've applied too much highlighter? I take it back, I, t I take it back. I, I don't know, I was possessed for a second then. Yeah, I'll just show you guys in the macro again. That actually looks stunning. Oh, this is, this is good. 17 maker, okay. Congratulations on your little glow up. Like you have fully, you have glowed up. It doesn't seem to be drying down too quickly either. It's quite like an oily consistency, which I normally find is better for a liquid highlight. Because again, it does just sort of add to the dewiness. Yes, I think that's gonna be one of their star products, to be honest. Like, how that applies, especially with how things are going at the moment, like, I still like just slathering myself with highlighter, but I know a lot of people tend to prefer something a little bit more subtle, can't relate. Um, I feel like that is gonna be really, really popular. Yeah, nice. So now for bronzer, I have the Glow and Define bronzer, and I have it in the shade 020. I think they had three or four shades, maybe. Maybe more. But yeah, they had a few shades. And I've gone for like the second lightest, I think. So it looks quite cool toned. I'm gonna take it on this brush here. You guys always ask me about my brushes. This is the Zoeva Luxe Powder Finish. I I think I must have had this brush for five years or something now. Still like my most favorite contour brush. It's either this one or the Zoeva Face Shape, is it? Uh, no, Cream Cheek. Like I never use it for cream products, but it's just got like a good angle. There's, there's no mirror, I always do that. So I feel like this shade on me is gonna be more of a contour than anything else. So at the end, or like depending on how I look and everything, I might add something a touch warmer, but I actually do kind of prefer that because I find it quite difficult to find a good neutral tone contour on like the drugstore. A lot of the time they're just too orange or they are just fully gray. This actually looks like a really nice color. I feel like it's almost giving me Too Faced milk chocolate vibes. This color in particular, again, if you're my sort of skin tone, I wouldn't say it's a bronzer. I would say it's more of a contour, but I really, really like it. Uh, it says soft touch bronzer. Again, it's got sweet almond oil and pearl pigments to give it that fresh beach glow. I see no pearl pigments. It seems like a pretty matte bronzer to me, but regardless of the description, I love, I, oh my God, I actually really like so many things. So now I have the blusher. This one is in the shade Desert Pink. So yeah, it's in the shade Desert Pink and it's just a, Peachy sort of blusher. Again, I think they had maybe like three, four or five different shades. It's quite subtle. Yeah, it's very, very subtle, but for me personally, I don't mind that because you guys know I'm still like dipping my toes into the whole blusher sort of thing. Um, if you like a lot of blush, this, this does take a lot of building up, but I feel like it's very user-friendly for me. This all looks really good on my skin as well. It's not gotten weird now that I've added loads of powder and stuff. I need to stop saying it because you guys will probably think I am sponsored by them, but I really, really love a lot of this. Okay, so now we have the Lights On Highlighter Powder. This one I also got in the shade Champagne, and I believe they had three shades of this. 
Okay, it looks a bit more goldy than I was expecting. Like compared to the liquid highlighter, I much prefer the shade of the liquid highlighter that's in the same uh, shade name, but we shall see. So for my highlighter, my favorite brush to use is the Luxe Powder Fusion from Zoeva. And I'm just gonna focus that a little bit higher than where I put the rest of my highlighter. It's quite golden. Um, and I think this is like the lighter shade. So if you're super fair, the gold might look kind of yellow on your skin because it's even pulling a little bit yellow on my skin and I've got like two layers of fake tan on right now. The, the product itself though looks quite nice. It's not super intense. It doesn't look too powdery. Like there's actually nothing wrong with the product, especially for the price, but I'm not as excited by this as I was everything else. It does give a nice shine. Like it does actually give a really, really nice shine. I think it's just the color on me. I just, I don't really tend to like more gold any sort of highlights, but there's actually nothing wrong with it. I'm just not like super pumped by it. Um, I actually prefer the liquid one, so I might go with a little bit more of that to be honest. I feel like it's a better color. Let's layer up the liquid. Yeah, for once, this never happens, but I actually prefer the liquid highlighter. I feel like it's just a nicer color on my skin and it gives a slightly nicer finish. And still, even over more powder, the liquid one blends in really, really nicely. So now for setting spray, I'm going in with the matte prep setting spray. They have a dewy one and a matte one, you guys know. I would have gone for the dewy one, but that was one of the products that was like, either it was out of stock or it just wasn't in stock yet. So I've settled for the matte one, but we'll see what this looks like. The mist is quite nice. Does it have a smell? It's quite like a nice light floral smell. It's not too overpowering. The mist on this is actually really, really nice. Even like some of the most expensive brands, I'm fully inhaling this right now. Even some of the most expensive brands, they have a good product, but the mister just sucks. This is actually really, really nice. It doesn't really feel like you're putting too much of a liquid on your face. Ooh, I really kind of love how this base is looking. What do you guys think? I'm gonna include a macro. Um, I want a tiny bit more warmth in my face, which I'll do like nearer the end. Uh, but yeah, this looks really, really good. So now I'm gonna go in with the eyeshadow palette. So like I said, this one is in the shade golden and you've got nine different shades and I'm gonna try not to snap my nail ripping into this. But yeah, the palette looks like this. Looks quite nice. To be fair, I'm actually not mad at this palette because I tried out some warmer, more like orangey tone eyeshadows the other day and I kind of liked it. Like, who even am I? Like 2022 has just, I don't even know myself anymore. But yeah, it looks to me like you've got five mattes and then four shimmers. I would like, unless they look different on the eye, I feel like these two colors do look pretty similar. Could have maybe done with a deeper brown or something. Same with these two shades here. Like they do look different, but in person, like with the light and everything, they don't look that different. So maybe if we had like a champagne and then also like a deeper brown, that's just, that's just my opinion, but let's give it a shot. I'm gonna go in with this shade here the slightly more cool tone one first. And there is a little bit of kickback, but it's not too bad. And because people shout at me if I don't do this, they like shout through the screen at me, I'm gonna put a little bit of my P. Louise base on my lid. I normally just use whatever concealer I'm using, um, but obviously because this is a new concealer, I'll give the eyeshadow a fair shot. So yeah, going in with that second shade in the palette. And I'm just gonna do a nice little smoky eye. Just like a nice neutral sort of smoky eye, a little bit of warmth, maybe a little bit of shimmer, something that won't scare the farmers when I go out for lunch. That's quite a good crease shade. That's the sort of shade that I use quite often anyway. So yeah, that looks pretty good. It's obviously quite subtle because of the sort of color that it is, but um, yeah, not bad. I'm then gonna go in with the same brush and go in with this shade here and work that in. So just go a little bit lower just to add a bit of warmth. And I'm gonna start flicking. Flick, 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 flick. See, I quite like, I quite like an orangey warm brown. That, what is wrong? What? Am I okay? I'm then going in with a different brush and I'm gonna go in with that shade that I said looks pretty similar to the one that I just put on because I do wanna see if it does look any different. So I'm gonna focus that more so on the outer corner. I feel like it's a little bit different, but yeah, I think, you know, just a little piece of unsolicited advice because everyone always loves that. I'd probably recommend 17, respectfully, maybe just like a deeper brown or something. 
in the future. So now, I think I'm gonna go in with this shade here. And whoa, okay, that is, there's a cat hair on this eyeshadow brush, so let's, uh, let's get rid of that before I do a close up. This looks really pigmented actually, like there's a lot of product that's just come off of my brush. And I'm gonna pop that on the center of my lid, oh. My God. The shimmers are pretty pigmented. They blend out a lot more like as you start to blend them, they're not as intense, but that was literally one tap and I've done pretty much my whole lid. It does look a little bit dry, so I'm gonna go in with a slightly dampened brush and just see how it works when it's slightly dampened. Ooh, can you guys see that there? What do you guys think so far, by the way? Like, feel free to let me know in real time as things are kind of going. Like, when I ask you guys questions, I genuinely mean it. Feel free to sort of leave them in the comments below. I know I haven't been as active in my comments recently as I would like to be. Uh, mental health things, just been sort of like taking a bit of a step back, but I do read everything and I am gonna be replying to a lot more again. So yeah, let me know. We can have like a little discussion. Let me know what you think as we go along. So now for my eyes, I'm going in with an angle brush and going in with that slightly deeper shade. This is where I would like to have like a cooler, more like chocolatey brown. So yeah, I'm just gonna wing this out a touch. See if I can, okay. <sighs> Fall out, <sighs> blow it away. <sighs> I saw I saw like some makeup artist just the other day. I was like, I do that. I do it all the time. I'd literally be the worst makeup artist because they'll be full out and I'd just be like blowing on this person's face like, Sorry, they'd be like Kim Kardashian there or something, and I'd be like, oh, hun, there's a bit of fallout, just like blowing and like spitting over her face, licking a makeup brush to like make it wet. It's a good job I just do it to my own face. Okay, that did not work as a liner at all, so I'm gonna go in with a little bit more of that, because it's like, <laughs> it's gone all over the place, and I'm just gonna deepen that outer corner a bit instead. So the eyeshadows are quite powdery, and if you have too much on your brush, then it, it won't really like stick to your eyes, I'm guessing unless you have like a super tacky base. But if you're just kind of applying a little bit and building it up, they do actually work quite well. They're pigmented enough, they blend out nicely. They're definitely more of like an everyday sort of eyeshadow. I feel like you have some palettes that are like, you know, you do full on like cut creases, crazy eyeshadow looks, and then there's some palettes that you want them just to be a little bit more subtle. Um, this is one of those palettes. It's not gonna give you the most insane color payoff and like crazy opacity, but it is quite nice for an everyday palette. And these palettes are cheap as well. They're like five pounds. So yeah, not bad. So now I'm just gonna sharpen up that outer corner a little bit. I'm like, I'm doing shrimp mode, guys. So when I like, if you're new here again, now we've done the handshake. I'll introduce you to shrimp mode. Basically, you know how it is. You're doing your makeup and like you're doing your eyeliner or something and you're doing this and then suddenly you go to look in the mirror and you're like, when did I become the hunchback of Notre Dame? They did have a liner by the way, 17. Again, that was out of stock when I went to go and get it. Um, so maybe that can be your guys' homework for today. Try out the liner. Let me know what you think. So I'm just gonna take a bit of that highlighter again and just Highlight my inner corner a touch and then also my brow bone. Yeah, unfortunately, the highlighter I'm not, not too keen on. It's probably one of the worst products. Like everything else apart from the brow gel is actually really, really good. The highlighter, I'm like, mm, not so much. So now for mascara, we have the Extreme Extension Lengthening Mascara. Again, they had a few different ones. I chose this one because it has a plastic one, I don't know what that was then, it's like I didn't even know where the camera was. Um, yeah, it's got a plastic one, which you guys know I like. So again, shrimp mode initiated. Let's, I'll show you guys how this looks in the macro. It's not really combing my lashes through as nicely as I would like it to. Let's see, let's give it some more wiggles. Maybe it just needs a second coat. It's a really black formula and it is definitely, giving me length. I feel like these days we are so spoiled with good mascaras that it's almost like, it's like I don't know what I'm expecting because this mascara is actually, it's good. I mean, it is definitely giving me length. Like look at this, look at this guy here. He's just like, see you later. Yeah, definitely giving me length. Looks a little bit spidery. Yeah, my only real fault with this is that it's just a little bit spidery, um, but it does give you insane length. 
So now for my lips, I have one of these lip liners. I picked up two shades, but I think I am just gonna go with this color here because the way that this looks, looks like my perfect sort of pinky nude. I've been loving more pinky nudes recently. And yeah, this just looks kind of bang on. That looks bang on. So this is in the shade Rose Brown. And then I also picked up, which I will try it in another video, the shade Scarlet, because it looked like a fully true red. These look good. Even just like how they feel, they, yeah, they feel really good. So I'm just gonna spit all over my own lips. So I'm just gonna blot the edges of my lips down just a touch with my foundation brush, which I like to do purely because it means I have a bit more control. I can shape my lips a little bit better. And I'm gonna go right across my cuticle. So. Yeah, you can see they're pretty pigmented. And again, they're creamy enough so that they apply nicely, but they're also a little bit waxy, which means that it's probably not gonna budge. So in these days, I actually just kind of line my lips roughly and then I always shape them up a little bit more again with concealer. So I'm gonna do that with the same concealer that I used before. Just sharpen up the edges a bit. This color, I'm obsessed with it. I'm obsessed with this color. It's very, very similar to Max Saw, which I've been loving again recently. Do you guys wanna know what I started the other day? Euphoria. And I started playing Wordle. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm kinda of good at it. But I'm obsessed with Euphoria. I'm only like however many years late, but that's why I'm always like, I'm always like late to the party, but happy to be here. But right now I'm on season one, episode nine, maybe episode 10. So no spoilers, please. Although to be honest, I've already seen half of it on Twitter. And by the time this video goes up anyway, I probably would have binge watched everything in a night. So but yeah, I love Rue. I love Fez. Um, Nate can go kiss my ass. And everyone is just way too good looking. So then I have two different lipsticks. They're both the matte ones. I have the shade Blushing Nude, and then I also have Old Rose. So Blushing Nude is a nude. Can you believe it? That looks like Maybelline Nude Embrace. Cool. And then this color again, I'm loving these more like pinky tones at the moment, or more like rosy lips. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Like this shade here. So yeah, these are matte lipsticks, but they don't feel dry when you apply them. Mmm. Yeah. Probably one of the nicest lip combos I've used in a while. And probably one of the cheapest as well. Ooh. Okay, I think that's everything. Yeah, I think that's everything. I'm gonna go and microwave my coffee. Someone said I was weird for doing that the other day, but like, I'm not gonna waste my coffee. It's like, it's still up to here. I've still got a lot of caffeine to consume. I'm gonna go microwave my coffee and finish off the rest of my face. Probably do a little bit of something to my hair and then I'll chip back with you guys for the finished look. All right guys, so this is the finished look. And when I was upstairs, just sort of brushing my hair through, uh, I basically noticed that the base has gone a little bit more like cool tone. It's sort of like oxidized a little bit. I don't know if you'll be able to tell on camera, but just in person, I'm like, something just looks a little bit off. Not sure what, but like, it's, it's nothing major. I just feel like, I don't know, it's just something to note. Otherwise though, I'm pretty happy with how everything turned out, to be honest. I feel like this eye looks different to the other one. I don't know why I've done exactly the same thing, but um, yeah, pretty happy with how everything looks, especially considering the price. I like how the base looks, like the finish. I had a little bit of bronzer by the way, and then also, as you can see, a little bit on my inner corner and a wing, just using the, it's actually a brow product, the brow tint pen from NYX. Uh, and then I also, what else did I do? Oh, a little bit of liner in my waterline. Um, but otherwise, yeah, full face 17 makeup and I feel like it looks pretty damn good. So like I said, I am heading out to lunch now and I probably won't do an actual like check-in, but what I will do is I'll film how the makeup looks after X amount of hours and like include it on screen now. So yeah, this is how the makeup's looking right now as I've just applied it. And then this is my makeup however many hours later. Again, I'll put like the amount of time that's passed on screen now. As always, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you do want to see more of me because I upload all the downtime and because we are getting closer and closer to half a million subscribers. We are less than 2000 people away now. Like it, madness. 
So yeah, like, comment, subscribe, do all the things. Thank you so much. And if you do want to be notified every time I upload a new video, make sure you turn on the bell down below. That's all of like the typical YouTuber things out of the way. I'm going to leave it here. I'm going to head out for lunch. That is it from me, guys. I love you and I will see you in the next one. Bye.